Okay. This is a uh, do as I say, not as I do video, guys. We found something in the neighbor's yard. Uh, what we found is a timber rattlesnake, and it's actually, she's really good size, and no, I am not keeping this animal. I want to stress that. Uh, my trucks are broken, so this doesn't fit in my car. Um, so it's going to go from this to a holding tub. My back hurts. I'm tired. I'm not trying to drive an hour outside of civilization to find a safe place to release a timber rattlesnake tonight. And then trying to release a timber rattlesnake in the dark by myself without getting bit. So, got a little bit of light left. I got a tub set up down here with some substrate, a heat rock, and some water. Again, this is not me keeping this animal. Um, as much as I'd love to keep a rattlesnake, I have a 10 year old little girl who lives with me at least half the year, if not more, is not worth the risk. Um, where are you in here? Okay. Really, really not a good idea. And she just struck straight at me. No, don't do it again. Guys, if this snake makes a run for it, I'm just getting the hell out of her way. Don't do it, sweetheart. Yeah, that looked real brave, didn't it? Guys, I have certain rules when working with venomous snakes. And the big one is keep your hands as far back as you can. I need another stick. There we go. And down on that. Locked. Locked. And a big rock. All right, guys, I drill holes in it. Guys, she's big. Um, I keep calling it a she, I'm not 100% sure. But there we go, transporting a timber rattlesnake into the tub without getting bit. Y'all have a wonderful day.